Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen White. July 16th, Eating for Life. Hold the temperance banner high on to victory grand. Satan and his host defy and shout for Daniel's band. Dare to be a Daniel, dare to stand alone. Dare to have a purpose firm, dare to make it known. Eating for life. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 to 22. Erroneous opinions arrived at because of faulty education in the home have been handed down by children to children's children, and habits of indulgence have been fostered, which have resulted in ruined health to thousands. Our sanitariums are to be places where correct education can be given to many on matters that pertain to life and health. The habits of eating should be carefully guarded, that none shall make themselves sick by indulgence of appetite. The Lord is not pleased when His people, bought by the sacrifice of His beloved Son, thoughtlessly injure themselves by wrong habits of living. As we pass through this world, we should seek to instruct all who will be taught how to avoid and how to overcome self-indulgent practices. If we are believers in Jesus Christ, we shall seek to become intelligent as to how to keep the brain clear and active, that not a tittle of our influence shall be lost. We should seek to become laborers together with God by keeping the system in such a condition that it can render perfect service. It is poor policy indeed to ill-treat the digestive organs upon which the happiness of the whole being so largely depends. When the stomach is disturbed, the mind is disturbed, and the brain nerve power is weakened. It therefore becomes a religious duty with every soul to learn the science of healthful living, to keep the question of diet in mind, and to treat the matter conscientiously. The Apostle Paul declares to us that we are not our own, that we are bought with a price. If we truly love the one who gave his life for us, we shall feel under solemn obligation to avoid disease. The strength of the temptation to indulge perverted appetite can be measured only by the long-suffering of Christ in his long fast in the wilderness. Christ knew that in order to carry out the plan of salvation, he must begin the work of redemption just where the ruin began. Adam fell on the point of appetite. Christ took up the work of redemption just where the ruin began. The same is true of our experience. We are to begin the work of reform just where the work of degeneracy is so keenly felt. This Day with God, July 16th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.